So in this video, I'm going to be showing you basically how I make hover graphs, hover crafts in vanilla scrap mechanic. So no mods. Um, we're just gonna use sort of that. So to get it to hover. You know what? Hold on, we need it, we need it. There, we'll use this. Now, for something small like this, you don't really need many thrusters. Um, thrusters. But, all you really need is just four sensors. Like so, just on each corner. Which is all that is. It's got thrusters on each corner with sensors. You can have more sensors. Um, doesn't really matter that much. Well, think of it this way. I guess the more sensors you have, sort of the more stable it would be. I don't know. But you can get into that. And we're going to just lower this down so that it doesn't fly. So that our thruster level is nice and low. Oop, that was up. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of power to actually get this to lift off the ground. Right? So it won't lift off the ground with the sensors being active. And if we use a logic gate, one thing that is kind of helpful is using well, using the launch gate if you don't want the thrusters running uh, if they're on the ground very like so so simply what you do is you take an and gate and you hook your thrust your sensor into there so it's basically doing the same thing right now but if we add a switch in it won't you'll need a switch to be active for the thruster to be active Um, simple enough, right? And so, you can just do that with, you know, a couple of easy logic gates. So that this way, when you have your seat down, it's, uh, that way your thrusters won't be on, uh, like, 24-7, whenever the things spawn into the world. Um, for smaller hovercrafts, it is easier for it to stabilize, I guess, if, um, if it's, if the weight is even on each side, if, if you can know what I mean. So if it's sort of symmetrical or whatever you want to call it, even on each side. Um, yeah, this one's going to need a bit more weight over here. Just to kind of keep it even so that it doesn't flip over. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm hooking in to the one. So now when I press 1, it'll activate those. See, it doesn't get off the ground. But if I activate 2, still nothing happens. So, obviously, I'm just going to need to increase the thruster power on these ones. So that now when I press 1 and 2, voila, the hovercraft goes up in the air. And actually... Um... I have no idea what it's what it's what's it's what it's doing. Number two switch is on, right? Yeah, two's on. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, there we go. See, when it starts to get too low to a corner, it starts to fall, 
the sensor will see the ground, or me, and raise that corner. Same thing, if it starts to drift to a corner, it will just activate the low, the, the, the lower side. When it gets to it, and there, well, there you go, it hovers now. It's really a piece of cake. The only... Alright, you can see this one's actually doing it too. Oh, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of glitched. You can't see the flames, but these are all on. But you can see the, they are, when they see the ground, they activate to keep it from uh, falling. Um, but yeah, if you want to get it to move, then simply you just add some, uh, some thrusters. But the thing is, if we press the thrusters, works great, but we have no way to turn or go backwards. So, to turn, that thing uses thrusters at angles, like, sort of like that. So that when you activate them, they will spin. Which works fine. Right, works fine. It can turn. But, um, you can't use the A and D controls to turn. You can set that up with a, uh, sort of, um, uh, pipe pieces. Or, no, don't need pipe pieces. Bearings, I guess. So that, um, bearings and, yep, more sensors. So you have sensors with a range of one. And this set up into here. So now we can turn. I'm pressing uh, a, yeah, A right now. So it's turning that side. Which is going to highlight that sensor, as you can see. And if I turn the other way, it's going to highlight that one. So, oh, hold on. I press 3. Yeah, it turns that way. So I need to hook this sensor up to these. So that now when I press A, so that now when I press A, it will turn in the you know direction I want it want it to turn. Same thing. I could add more thrusters on this side. Do the same thing. Just hook it up to the other sensor. And now if I turn this way, it will go that way. This way, it will go that way. W goes forwards. And, yeah, there you go. Now you, now you have a hovercraft. Pretty easy. So, um... This is how I kind of like to make hovercrafts. Yeah, it seems to work decently for me. I mean, obviously it could work a bit better, but... I'm, I'm not really complaining. That's basically also how the big one works. You have one switch that turns on, right? Like, if you turn off two, it won't hover. Which is activating the sensor thrusters, right? So that you can have this still won't fly if you have the number two it still won't go up but if you have both of them it will and then the th thrusters sensors sorry take over and keep it up so you don't even have to do anything um yeah that's uh basically uh, it for making a hovercraft hover. Uh, like I said, I don't know if there are better ways to do this. But, yeah. So that's, that's going to do it for this video. 
really hope my microphone has been turned on.